Many devices will have multiple network adapters that allow them to connect to both Wi-Fi and Ethernet at the same time. But should Wi-Fi be turned off when using Ethernet for better performance and security? We'll find out in today's video. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from HomeNetworkGeek.com where we talk about everything home networking. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's jump straight in and find out if you should be turning off Wi-Fi when using Ethernet. Now depending on the types of devices you have, some will only have a single network card that allows them to either use Ethernet or Wi-Fi. But more commonly, there'll be multiple adapters which allow them to make use of both. A few examples of these different devices include a Philips Hue bridge, which will only work over Ethernet, a smartphone that will only work over Wi-Fi, and a laptop that has a physical Ethernet port and a wireless card built into it. Even though your device may be only limited to Ethernet or Wi-Fi out of the box, it is possible to provide it with the other through the use of additional network cards and adapters. Again, this will be determined by the type of device that you have. Let's look at a MacBook Pro as our first example. As standard, it will have a wireless card built into it that allows you to connect to wireless networks but not a physical ethernet port, so you can't make use of a wired connection. This is where you'll need to purchase a separate adapter or a dock that connects to one of the existing ports on the MacBook Pro and provides it with that physical ethernet port. Looking at the opposite situation where you only have access to ethernet, if you're looking to add wireless functionality to something like a desktop PC, which does expect you to be using ethernet as the ethernet port is built into the motherboard, you'll need to purchase a Wi-Fi adapter. A simple USB Wi-Fi dongle is the most popular choice here for how cheap they are to buy and how convenient they are to use. Now let's assume that you're in the position that most of us are in in that your devices can connect to Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Is there any reason to be turning off Wi-Fi when using Ethernet? After all, Ethernet generally provides better performance and greater stability when compared with Wi-Fi. Turning off Wi-Fi will ensure that any network traffic isn't accidentally sent over Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet, but to be honest, if you're not really worried about this, you can quite happily leave it turned on. You could argue that turning off Wi-Fi improves network security, as it provides one less way for people to access your device. But I'm personally not too worried about this. I take the stance that providing you take the necessary steps to secure your home network, like changing your SSID and your wireless password, you don't really need to worry about turning Wi-Fi on and off on all of your devices. Yes, Ethernet and Wi-Fi can be used at the same time to connect your device to your home network. This is possible thanks to the router, which has both physical Ethernet ports and wireless antennas built into it, both of which that connect to a separate antenna which is located inside the router itself. This separate antenna is what makes creating the local area network possible and allows all of your devices to communicate with each other regardless of whether they're using Ethernet or Wi-Fi. A device that's connected to the network using Wi-Fi will still be able to communicate with one that's using Ethernet as they ultimately share the same connection. The method in which they use to initially connect may be different, but this really doesn't matter in the long run. So a device like a laptop will have multiple network adapters that give you the choice of using Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Both of these adapters can be used to form the initial connection, but only one will be actively used. Although I haven't personally experienced it myself, I have heard of some people running into some issues when the devices are connected to both Ethernet and Wi-Fi at the same time. It can end up causing a conflict, which results in no connection whatsoever. So if you're running into issues yourself and you have trouble with your devices connected to both at the same time, follow the link in the description box below where I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to turn off Wi-Fi when it's not being used. When you have a device with multiple adapters, it is possible to connect them to different networks at the same time. I'm not really sure where this would come in useful in a home network setup, but I suppose you could take a device that and connect it to your main network and your guest network at the same time if you really wanted to. Making use of both network cards to connect to different networks may not be terribly useful in itself, but there are a few advantages that come with having them. If both your network cards and your network switch support it, it is possible for them all to team up and increase the bandwidth that's available through what's known as network adapter teaming. Another use case is having one of the adapters work as the primary and then have the other adapter sit there as a secondary backup just in case the primary one fails. This is what's known as redundancy or high availability. So to wrap up, turning off Wi-Fi when connected to Ethernet isn't necessary. All it does is ensure that any network traffic that you intend to go over the Ethernet isn't accidentally sent over Wi-Fi instead. That being said, turning off Wi-Fi when it's not being used does provide one less way for people to potentially access your device, 
but continually turning it on and off can become quite a hassle. So if you can configure your device to automatically turn off Wi-Fi when Ethernet's connected, I'd recommend you do so. So if you want to know how to do this on Windows, Mac, and even your router itself, follow the link in the description box below to homenetworkgeek.com where I have a step-by-step -step guide that covers it all. But if you can't automatically disable Wi-Fi, don't worry too much about it. Just make sure your home network is kept secure and you balance usability with security. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that bell to turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.